Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd do a uh, plain old vanilla Debian install. Now this is the Debian testing um, version, and it is the one that includes non-free drivers. Now it is a net install, so it's going to pull in a lot of information over the internet. So <clears throat> it's a rel rel relatively small download. I think the ISO file was about 250 um, megabytes. So this is the menu that you'll be seeing when you boot up from your USB. Uh, this is basically a it gives you a choice of installing. Uh, using a, a, a uh, command line install which is the top selection or graphical install. I'm gonna select graphical install. <clears throat> now the first screen you see uh, is uh, asks you to select the language. I'm gonna select English, United States, American English and the default should be the correct one for you. If it isn't, just select the proper one from the list. Now it's going through and installing and checking my network hardware. Now I do have um, my Wi-Fi dongle activated and I also have Ethernet. So I want to see which one it'll be able to pick up. Okay, so it looks like it connected through my Ethernet cable. Now uh, I'm going to it's asking for a host name. Um, I'm going to just leave the Debian uh, domain. You don't need anything. You can just click continue. It's asking for a root password. I'm going to set that. Enter it twice. Click continue. <clears throat> Full name. Continue. Username. And then a password for the user. And click continue. It's asking my time zone. I am going to go with Eastern. And now it's seeing what disks are available. Now it is on a virtual box, so it's going to use the entire disk. I'm going to select the virtual box disk. I'm going to select all files in one petition rather than selecting a separate home petition and I am going to it now it's automatically going to create a small swap petition so I'm gonna click on finish petitioning and write changes to disk and write changes to disk of course you're gonna look at that you're gonna make sure that it's selecting the the disk that you want it to be installed to and so in my case it's it's easy it's a, it's just a, 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 a virtual box disk so I'm going to select yes. <clears throat> so now it's installing the base system. And it's going to ask me uh, to select a, a desktop environment. And I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back as soon as the uh, base system has finished installing. Okay, so now it finished installing the base package. <clears throat> now it's asking me for my country so it can select the right repos. And I'm going to select the default, the usdebian.org. <clears throat> no proxy information. And now it's going to pull in a number of additional files. I'm going to Pause the video. I'll be right back with you as soon as this is done pulling in the files. Okay, so now it's asking me if I want to participate participate in a package popularity survey. And I, the default is no, and that's where I'm going to leave it. And now it is uh, asking me to, ins to select a desktop environment. So I'm going to select XFCE and you can select more than one so I'm gonna select LXDE also I'm gonna 
select standard system utilities I don't really need SSH or web server and that's all you need now it's going to take quite some time to pull in all of the files necessary so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back with you okay uh, and the install is finished now it did ask me where I wanted to install grub and I selected the uh, virtual drive you would select your particular drive uh, if you're dual booting it becomes a little bit more complicated um, if you have another distribution like Manjaro that is controlling the boot process and you want to leave that alone uh, then you will since Debian uh, doesn't have an option not to install a bootloader uh, in that case you would select the petition that you install Debian to then when you reboot you will boot into your other Linux install such as Manjaro and then run uh, OS Prober and update grub so that it can find the Debian install and list it on your options when you when you turn on your machine so I am going to reboot I'm gonna click continue <clears throat> now it's going to reboot the virtual box and there is my grub screen with Debian now we're gonna select that <clears throat> And we're going to install. We're gonna we're gonna go to the to the first uh, login screen. Now, in this case, uh, if you remember, I installed two desktop environments, LXDE and XFCE. So, if you go up top and click on the little wrench, you'll see that that's where you will have both options listed. Uh, so I'm going to select LXDE for my first boot and sign in with the username and password that you selected. Clip it was installed by default, so I'm going to answer yes. And as you can see, we have a uh, LXDE desktop environment everything is configured properly if we go to our menu listing you can see that uh, everything is listed it's Debian has a, an excellent uh, system so everything that you need should already be installed GIMP is installed now this is the non-free uh, drivers install so if we go into I'm gonna see if I can locate that Firefox is the default browser so I'm gonna see if we can locate the link for you guys to be able to download this distribution so we're gonna do a search Debian testing and non-free okay so if we go to debian.org you can see that this is the non-free images uh, download and this is the one that I downloaded the 8.6 non-free if you click on that and click on your architecture in my case 64 and, and then click on ISO dash CD and then scroll to the bottom and you would select this last one firmware 8.6 net install it's 266 megabytes and that's what you would download uh, to get this particular package so that is the download procedure now if I log out and log back in I want to show you the other desktop 
and the system will remember your last selection so that's why LXDE is automatically highlighted if I select XFCE and I sign in and I use default config and work from there that's what you see that is your XFCE install so guys that's it uh, that's the install process for plain Debian um, I'm going to install this to hardware and I will do another video uh, just going over the rest of the process as if you were doing it on a hardware install meaning I'll be installing drivers and things like that so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe as you can see Debian is not as hard as some people think uh, and they do put up put together a, a really nice package so thanks for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care